November the 3rd, 2021. This is just a quick video on the go. Uh, it was another attack on me today. I know so because the ears are rattled. It's not only that you feel this in, in this Achilles heels area. Um, basically it's like this. There is such expression like, uh, and I didn't put much attention to this expression, um, Howard Stern involved in MKUltra and he had this, uh, what was it, shock jock, uh, actually jock shock. Okay, in my case, uh, if I can somehow, somewhat, some way <laughs> relate to these words, I would say it's a it's a uh, it's a jock and that means radiation and then shock. Uh, let me explain to you. Every time I got for every attack I got for every 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 attack that took place on me, I got something like this. And uh, damn, and uh, this is like a front page of the Yahoo today. That's what the American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith told me it's going to be the case. It's going to be something like this. Um, you know, the Kobe Bryant is was killed. Uh, I did wrote about a Kobe Bryant. That's got a lot to do with Armenia. It does, and I don't care what anybody says, but it does. Armenia is in a turmoil with the entire Muslim world. Uh, they have a war going on there that people don't even know about. It's because it's a small country, and when you don't pay attention to small countries, needs of the small people. Sorry, let me. Let me know. So this is this is exactly what awaited me today, and it's always American psychologist Daniel Smith told me it's going to be the case. Whenever they're going to do attack on you, uh, as you're going to wake up, it's going to be something like this on the mainstream media, that you're going to see always it's going to wait on you. This was today, this just happened to be so uh, on a Yahoo, on a front page, as the first news you would go to. Uh, otherwise, it would be about the cancer, the people that were involved uh, in MKUltra and they had to do with the cancer. Okay, so absolutely, definitely, I'm not lying to you. Uh, every time, for every attack that took place, it had something like this I would get served afterwards as soon as I would open my eyes, right? It would be exactly something like this. Now, listen up, folks. There's a whole important stuff, a lot of important stuff I want to talk to you today. Uh, in this video on the go, this is not just about um, jock, shock, whatever, American culture. Uh, this, all this stuff, this is stuff that's related to British imperialism. Nobody profit from this case more and that's why you had British all the time in the picture, British royals. Nobody profited more than British royals did through this case. Uh, here on the picture and what I was hoping is going to open as a page is a Kobe Bryant uh, involved in MKH for a very long time. That's how he got to the USA, literally through this case, from Italy. Um, they profited in a variety of ways, always were in the picture, because they... This here relates to year 2017, this photo. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, exactly when I was brought, when I was hijacked, 2017, I mentioned a million times 2017, uh, to the USA 
and the one who spent time with me more than anybody just happened so to be Joe Biden for this picture here I was thought that I would be dead whatever killed gone dead hundred percent whatever like I said it's a it's a joke and shock now listen up folks British figure out that there is a lot of money that can be made even more than through the trade with opium I'm gonna try to do something else now uh, even more so than through the trade with the opium uh, it could be money that will be made through exactly what I stated also on my blog the other day that's through the modified food GMOs it's an article that's called more lucrative this 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 is this is the deal this is the real deal here no this is the real deal this is the article you wanna you want to read this this stuff here it's more lucrative than opium uh, this country great great britain always was involved in a trade that created the, their opponents are retarded and when those re opponents became retarded they would throw the rope around their necks and just squeeze them to the last drop of blood um, the African continent paid the biggest price but a prey on a table uh, this imperial country colonial neo-nazi state also was India and China many found themselves on a plate uh, on a path to slavery and so just so that you know you don't have to engage in a full-scale war to implement 100% control over certain territory um, GMOs that kind of stuff crops modified genetically modified food um, growth of poverty support for poverty is actually more addictive to the victims more difficult to escape from than even opium and you know the opium is a terrible terrible drugs terrible drug Prince Charles figured out that through depicting me in a worst possible way to the black community in the USA um, having those lie against me having those misrepresent facts against me uh, eventually would have them engage in torture well the stick from Prince Charles is not Great Britain the stick for the neo-nazis always was a proxy and this proxy just happens to be a United States of America it's this guy that I did mention a little earlier it's Joe Biden very slow internet today I apologize you know is this man right here that keeps making news a bully uh, is engaging in a bullying against China because China is the biggest competitor to the West uh, not only China have rose itself from opium slavery from upstaged uh, attempts, see attempts to overthrow a very otherwise beneficial for China Communist Party. Uh, China simply is interested in helping other nations, other races 
uh, to prosper because just like I do, I know we have a different uh, structures in this Eastern Europe, but I know that only together we can win this opium culture that haunted this world for ages since the beginning of the world this evil that expanded throughout the world uh, its disease did not end they did not say the last word uh, and China is very much aware of it uh, having a production, manufacturing, all that, um, they are not interested in direct colonization, they are not interested in enslaving black people in African continent because they know that someone else is doing this and uh, not only would be very difficult thing to do but it would be very, very, very unbeneficial because every step like this you take in this direction, it affects entire human race. It gives a forgiveness, grants a forgiveness to the people, to the people like, like this. Now this is this is the main guy you are in war with, you are not in war with me the man for you to worry about if you're black is the man right there, this is the guy right here this is the man, this is the principal man you are in a war at this is your threat, this is your number one threat, I'm not um, Kobe Bryant was um, well, just like many of you in the United States of America, one of an individual who believed in a special privileges for black, uh, not really, not really, uh, but there is a culture like Obama culture that believes that there is a way out of poverty through depicting yourself uh, even as more influential than what you are basically disregarding your resentments um, yeah, listen, these people know these people know uh, these people know better, they are not stupid they figure out that maybe the world is not doing enough they maybe figure out that um, that's actually, I, I saw this here, I entered inside of the Google engine the words, the letters, Imperial Negro, I did, it's called Imperial Negro, Imperial Negro. Um, something I figured out under MK Ultra it's imperial negro that applies to american blacks more than anything in in this case i don't mean directly a slave that would work on a british uh plantain that would work on a british as a slave you know like they used to trade with the slaves sell them and this and that uh, they were smart enough British that they involved black people that would start to trade with the black people and if you go to this Nazi websites you can see that they they say oh no it, it, it was not British it was not German it was uh, actually blacks that did and then it's a Jew it's a Jew that did stuff like that no there was somebody else, there is always somebody else who was behind this imperial negro. This individual, this family that, that did business like this and were always smart enough to cover their ass. So historically looking, even if, even if things would go badly for them, 
uh, they would still have the way out. They could still protect the rest. And you have to admit, poverty uh, in the name of help, right? Because it's always the help you get. You always get the donations. Um, this is, what are you going to do about this? I mean, this they, they boost poverty and they earn through the poverty. They, they have control over the African continent and this control is increasing because of poverty boost basically and you know uneducated people people without having the ability to look for uh, listen just as in my case okay it, that's why I see myself in this more and more and more as just another Negro tool these people used traditionally, like throughout the centuries, from the beginning of the slavery on a black continent, in an issue, and they did this everywhere. They did this shit. This is the way it works, this opium. A culture of uh, destitution, uh, the culture of demoralization. It's a, it's a whole fucking demoralization process behind this. They push entire nations into depression mode, and then they cash through depression mode. Because depression, you know, depression, this is when human is just looking for something, for anything, and usually is reaching out for the stupid solutions. And that's basically when the, the one that preys on them basically cashes, you know? So that much about these visits from Princess Diana to Africa and, you know, soliciting other people for donations for Africa, help, and this and that. Rather than point out a long-term self-sustainable solution for these people, rather than as China is trying to do, and I really support China, I am really angry at Russia really is is the most regressive state of all the Slavic countries. It's it's a country completely backwards, totally backwards, especially under Vladimir Putin. Rather than pointing out solution to these people, make themselves sustainable and contribute to the blacks, okay, let's say to the Kobe Bryants, at my set, Kobe Bryant's, I mean Johnson's, I mean Michael Jordan's, I mean Mike Tyson's, I mean Barack Obama's, I mean Imperial Negroes. No, I did not meant as an Imperial Negro, an individual, black individual that was a slave on a plantain. I meant a people like this, I meant wealthy black people that do crime, that commit themselves to crime, to lies, that commit themselves to destruction of lives for the sake of the money, for the sake of the contracts, Hollywood people. That's the culture I'm talking about. It does not even necessarily apply to black people, it applies to the junkies too. The people that just are willing to do anything, let's say, on a broader scale for the for a cash, for the contract, for the movie role, for the for the game, for whatever they can they can profit from within. Even for the business contracts. That's exactly what I meant when I said Imperial Negro. I know it's a touchy issue, but trust me. Rather than empowering African continent as whole, rather than making African continent self-sufficient, these people see themselves through what I stated, uh, thus creating even a bigger um, frontier between blacks, black race, and other races, not even other nations anymore. But other than to embrace strength of black people, now listen to this, but other than to embrace strength of the black people, 
in the United States of America through stronger African continent, self-sufficient African continent that China is trying to push forward. Let's just say Chinese Communist Party is trying to make Africa self-sustainable so they could increase, actually decrease its dependence, dependence of the continent on well, opium-like Western handouts, donations. Uh, so rather than for the American blacks, and I'm not saying about all the blacks, this is not true. It's the people that understand exactly what I'm talking about. But rather than to empower them, therefore a view of American society, view from whites, from Hispanics, on blacks, as per someone who is coming from a continent that is just as Europe or just as, well, South America is having huge problems too, but really this is critical here in Africa. Uh, are also a descendants from the continent that is self-sufficient, um, just based on its own production, based on chartering their own rule of law, a future based on something different than uh, depression. You know, you remember when I talked to you about the depression. They prefer, they choose instead, you know, and that's a bad thing about these imperial Negroes. They instead, because they pull entire black society behind in the United States, and that's what angered me about this Black Lives Matters movement. They choose handouts, they choose donations, uh, they choose a culture, a mainstream a media culture uh, that everybody in a Western Hemisphere has to agree. It's a culture of, it's actually non-existing culture. They will fucking destroy you if you go out there and you engage in a racist behavior against somebody. They will, because they have to. Because this, what I stated right now, concerns all this here. It's a huge African continent. It's a huge African continent, and this kind of donation culture expands now through the Asia already, through the media, toward China. Because that's what NATO does. They leave the countries destitute, ruined, bombed, bombarded. And then it's all in the name of the human rights and donations. You get the culture now of Imperial Negro. So uh, rather than they would see themselves in a China, in I am really, I am trying to be as critical as I can be with this Russia, with the Putin, because he is siding with these Nazis for the sake of his Tsarist title. That's what the fuck he wants. And another problem how Charles managed to put the rope around the neck to the black people is he got these black people involved in it. I was told uh, for Lennox Lewis, which I like very much, but I, I'm angry because I was told for the Lennox Lewis that he wants to be a king in Jamaica, that he also wants a royal title to himself. And I heard about Mike Tyson that he wants a royal title in Africa and stuff like this. And this this blacks already have practically signed away United States of America as a homeland. I heard about some of these black people, wealthy people already purchasing uh, citizenship, uh, made an arrangement for the future uh, obtaining a citizenship abroad like in other countries that would make them possible uh, in case of this uh, you know, racial war that would, well, unfortunately, I think, I think the racial war is coming. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but folks, when I see stuff like this in Slovenia, Slovenia is a traditional country that, well, almost 8% of the population in Slovenia was annihilated during the World War II. Um, by the Nazis, by the fascists. Okay, that's where I am coming from. So when I see 
When I see stuff like this, when I see this kind of stuff, uh, this is a this is an individual that that um, next to Milan Kuchan. Um, it really doesn't matter. He was in a Yugoslav secret police. But this individual, I understand, supposedly is promoting the White Guards. Now, they're in the, from the Russia that was a collaborator with the Nazi Germany during the World War II. Laid, uh, had, now listen to this, had Slovenian military. Now, this is impossible that he could do this by himself. This is why this, I am very worried about what goes on. Uh, he had... He had Slovenian military. Slovenian military pertains to everybody in Slovenia. It does not pertain to political, particular political uh, option in Slovenia or through Slovenian military should serve in the name of the mission which our forefathers have brought for us during the World War II to secure our existence. Well, obviously I'm talking about partisans. That's what Slovenian military should serve. But this individual, listen, he's not necessarily a white guard. This individual have had Slovenian military just yesterday place, I, I don't know how you say this in English, uh, on the white guards' graves, okay? That is actually, I'm going to say, very bad. That is totally unheard of. That you would have somebody it really doesn't matter about this stuff it really doesn't matter if this guy is a prime minister it fucking matters not the one who won the war the one who secured his existence in Slovenia and it's the only one who rightfully fought for our existence and I'm not saying that I am not condemning humans that have chosen the wrong path. I am not condemning the people that have fallen prey to Germans. Uh, that it was also a fact that the Germans either condition you with a death or join in their forces. This is the way it was in Slovenia. I am not condemning these people as a human beings, you understand? But the only one who the only one who secured our existence in the World War II really were partisans. And I am worried. I am worried because I see this. This, I see that he had Slovenian military place these things on the graves of the White Guards, Domobranci in Slovenian language. I am worried because I see the Pope here my friend Pope Francis is talking about this kind of stuff. He is calling to slow down arms manufacturing and stuff like that. This is a good man, but what is the good man? Uh, this good man, what will this good man do uh, in front of this here, in front of the tank thread? He reminded me, I'm not defending with everything also, uh, you know, I, 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 I would like, you know, well, there are certain costs, you know, but, but what this guy is going to do, this is like, like, like a guy that, that, that plays himself alone, there is nothing much he can do, he's trying his best. We never have had a better Pope than this man here. A one single good man can do shit in front of the tank thread, you know, imagine the tank rolling down the street and this little man going with his prayers to stop him. That's basically exactly the call for this shit. That's why I called you Americans, black Americans, 
to think about this stuff here. You are part of community in the United States of America. This is very bad. Let me explain. This news is very, very bad. This is a very, very bad news. Is, is it red? Is that what it is? Crown, I could say. Okay, red. Okay, place a red on on uh, memorial of on memorial of the home guards. It should. Excuse me. Uh, it should be something written. People who have chosen the wrong path or have fallen prey during the World War II Slovenian neo-Nazi occupation. Simple as this, but what this is very bad, I was told this kind of stuff, when you see this kind of stuff, that this this is being already pledged, and li listen, I'm not saying this because I want to push a certain portion of the society that have found itself in this kind of circumstances, human beings therefore, away from equality within the society. No. I am the one who promote equality also for them, for everybody to get along. Which, of course, the other side didn't like very much about me. That's what the partisans also didn't like about me. They 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 kind of condemned me under MK Ultra when I suggested them that we should Therefore, what we should do is we should encourage them to come closer to us, including in a society to work with us. We cannot afford as a small nation to have uh, a country separated. But folks, when you have this kind of stuff going on, you're actually honoring as a Slovenian soldier in a, slo in a uniform of Slovenian soldier, people who have fallen a prey to a neo-Nazis, to a fascist during the World War II, or people who consciously have chosen the wrong path. You understand? So now you're, this isn't about this people here, about the names of this people here, but you're honoring the wrong legacy. And I, when I was told when you're gonna see the stuff like this happening, it's because we're going to go now back to this issue I told you about, and I told you about the small nations counts. Just think about Armenia. Small nations counts more than what you think. Janis Jansha, the same individual, that's why I'm trying to tell you. This individual used to be Udba police officer, it's a Yugoslav secret police man, indifferent from Milan Kuchan, from Borut Pahor, from people who identify themselves as a communists. That's why I said these are not communists, they don't have anything to do with the communism, but it's the fraction that wants to be depicted as, they want world to see one as, as a leftist, as a someone uh, rightfully they're representing our nation uh, they are trust me everything but people from solidarity movements they are absolutely everything but someone who knows the cost the real price uh, the real value of things they hide their issues behind the red star and those issues match very closely those of Serbian Chetniks those of Vladimir Putin is white guards in Russia. So what I want to say to you, all right, what I want to say to you is, this individual used to be officially owned by individual. And it appears that what I stated yeah, you can see his ID here too, and so on. You can see this here, this, he's got the ID here. What I want to say to you that, look, there is actually even a photo here of Milan Kuchan, and therefore, if you like, a mentor of Borat Pahon, our Slovenian president, uh, have selected this individual to lead a possible now more you know because you what the fuck do you hear in mainstream media other than musk demanding united nations to tell where the money is going to be spent on these donations we didn't see any of that in the past 
But now when the business, when the opium business, therefore a GMO production, a poverty really took off in Africa and it appears to be unstoppable now when the only one that can stop this stuff, in my view, in my eyes, really is China, a Republic of China that can do this. China demonstrated how to go, how to raise itself from knees. Now, all of a sudden, it appears to me, Mr. Charles figure out that it's time for the jackboot on Africa. And so he offered Eastern Europeans, now you're talking about the Vladimir Putin and even Slovenia, it appears to me more and more, a piece of land somewhere in Africa that they would share with one another. So what we are going to have, my dear black people in the United States of America, in case you're still with me, and I, I tell you this completely unapologetically, I tell you this, give the support, the fucking people that you were demonstrated, you were, you were given like advantage to harm, you know, what the fuck you have done to me is wrong. You murdered with the lies. You didn't torture only, you murdered with the lies. You had these people murder, your own people murdered with the lies. So what I'm saying to you, if you're still with me at this point in time, give yourself a chance before it's going to be too late. Through someone, through something that can point out to the world the real intentions of evil that hunted this world from very beginning evil that is trying to make us kill one another evil that is trying to selectively force us to kill one another to choose basically selectively pushing us into choices based on what i stated before already as a main tool in use a tool of depression give yourself a chance Give yourself a chance and stand up for what's right before it's going to be too late. Because these people, these people work around the clock. They work around the clock. And uh, let me tell you, you see this black guy here? He was indifferent with the Kofi Annan. Gebrehesus from World Health Organization, black guy. Is, he's got his needs. He is practically from Tigray. This is the guy that will do anything just like Kofi Annan did uh, to either depict himself. Basically, these people don't understand the meaning of entire society, global society, world, working together with one another. You understand? They don't understand. They think that this is just solve this crisis, you know, temporary, you know, a, a temporary thing, you know. Like the main thing is just to do something about in in on a, for the time. But they don't think about what I stated to you in this video. I think nobody ever did, because people are even you know. It's this word that I use, global, uh, actually global, imperial negro. It's this word deliberately that I use. It was not meant to insult you, but it was, it's used to stimulate you into a proper thinking. You want to see yourself through a prosperous African continent. You want to see yourself as part of the United States of America, as part of those other cultures through, you know, your heritage coming from something that contributes to this world too, through something that works with all of us and with the China and with the Eastern Europe, when I say Eastern Europe, think about the difference between myself and Vladimir Putin. That's why I said I, I missed those words a little earlier. What exactly is it that you want? Do you want someone to grant you a special, that kind of stuff that you want to see yourself in? 
or do you want something that you're not going to win in this world but what you can do is you can at least help us others secure our existence in this world because we're not going to work all together we are going to be annihilated we are going to be destroyed that's why this video i know i know it's it's a touchy it's a touchy issues i used inside but you know none of these politicians are gonna touch the real issues behind things because this is why they are politicians nobody's gonna go out there for them you know the first thing that comes to mind is basically a mainstream media culture that brainwashes everybody what is the proper to say what is not the proper to say yeah it's fucking agencies in the usa that will jump on your ass if you use this kind of words you know what i mean it doesn't matter even if you would save lives it's more important the proper language if you want than the truth that pertains to you so i want you to really think about this video um you're welcome to give me a feedback but the time is running out the people like elon musk already wants the proof about the six billion that can solve the world hunger you know what the fuck that means if he wants to prove that six billion now he is smashing the table and saying six billion is nothing and I want proof it's a lot of money this is a tremendous amount of money six billion but he's saying I want the proof that you're actually worth to exist so this is the last fucking stage you hey it's not only about you blacks it's also about us Eastern Europeans and about Chinese and about South Africans and everybody else that is not Aryan it's also through the Western Europe that people don't agree. It's a lot of white people. Majority, in fact, the white people through the Western Europe. Majority of the white people through United States, Canada, and so on. They don't want this shit. But with the people like this, eventually they will push down the throats to us their agenda. And, you know, more and more they will want to know. They will want the proofs about what exactly six billion can solve the world hunger and consequently this kind of question is going to lead it's better that we wipe you out you're fucking worthless to us anyways All right we got india we got china we got eastern europe if you're gonna you know if in case you're gonna put in my opinion your brain to work uh and eventually from 95 when this case started and that's what angered me about the black community in the US so fucking destituted in this kind of situation and seeing me drugged up in front of this Russian Vladimir Putin and going and assisting one and stuff like this and a crime against me uh, listen start making the right choices before it's gonna be too late for every one of us all right um this kind of issues the poverty uh the racial imbalance be tolerant don't judge people based i don't even consider myself really as white i'm an eastern european i don't know how much you understand that the issue be tolerant toward other people and be considering even if they're coming from the small countries about their issues because it's a very complex world and uh, these issues can lead to like uh, uh, complications for entire globe regardless of how small uh, even if one individual you know it's the people powerful people usually always that pray behind stuff like this and they take the shit to the next level and when it gets to the next level then you're gonna have people like this they will bank to you on a table they will want proofs they actually want to prove why you should exist so be tolerant be nice and start taking the right side start taking the side of the truth 
pay your dues to humanity, play with solidarity. Okay, peace. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I don't have anything else I would really add to this video. Yeah. I hope this, this thing somehow is going to diffuse. This, this shit to me, this stuff is scary. Um, I hope it's really not going to go into that next level. Because the next level, this is when you have someone laying red crown on the white cards, graves. Um, and that means already that just like the case was with the Belarus's opposition, which ran to Germany on the west, they're going to be brainwashed there into a swastika that you could have some real fucking problems on an African continent. Because you see, in Slovenia we never had this kind of stuff happening. And when you see this kind of stuff happening already, when you see this kind of stuff coming in the front stage, that means that the other side that doesn't want to look dirty yeah, and Milan Kuchan doesn't want to look dirty. He still wants to hide behind the Red Star. Bord Pahor still wants to hide behind the Red Star. But that means they already gave okay. For something that will develop out of it. Hopefully never. Thanks for watching this video till next time. You the blacks will also know. You the blacks will also know that they are playing you. You will also know that they are playing you when you're gonna you're gonna enter here inside. You're gonna enter Imperial Negro British, and you're not gonna see absolutely anything about you know your slavery. You know what they have done to you. French colonialism was bad, but they say the worst one throughout the Africa ever, historically looking. The fucking worst one was a British one. This was the British one. But if you enter the magic words I told you about, you're only going to see here British Empire Queen Victoria. You're going to see Imperial Black. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see, you're going to see here, you're going to see the college I was brought. That's why Charles used this case so much. That's what Charles wanted to hide himself behind. Imperial College in London. Imperial College in London, you're gonna have black people they're gonna promote through. And anything that you're gonna, you're gonna enter related to the black and imperial, you're gonna only get, to get the positive results. You're gonna get here how the black Americans in Britain, World War II. You're gonna get the college, London, London, you know where the fucking London is? I should say where the Buckingham Palace is? That's the only news you're gonna see and that's how you're gonna know. They're hunting your souls. You are on a plate, as good to go. Listen, I apologize if my words use someone's feelings. For that matter, I apologize for that. It's not meant to hurt your feelings. Uh, exactly the opposite. It's not about the words. Fuck words. Yeah, again, it was Charles. Don't use fuck. Don't use profanities. Yeah, really. So you can do to the person whatever you can trample his dignity. You can do with the person whatever you want and you still expect from person to uh, use proper language. We are based more on actions than on words. Again, don't take this as an offense. Think about the message I gave you and hopefully take the right decision, take actions in account. Because this game, this game is coming to an end. Obama told me uh, it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. It's time to 
uh, for some of us to become wealthy and so the, the uh, you know we establish ourselves within the society through the view uh, uh, indifferent you know uh, uh, basically through the perception of um, wealthy basically indifferent from uh, you know let's just say from others yeah I agree to that I agree to that but only to a certain extent as what Charles is using what London is using what Berlin are using in this case they are using a top bottom of the society that's in the US you have the blacks making less money than anybody else they're using the black bottom society to literally overthrow the Republic you don't understand what's going on man open your eyes they're using those that are the most exposed to injustice to literally overthrow the Republic I realized uh, the video could uh, get me in trouble uh, get this video download this video uh, I might actually have to remove this video I have no idea how this is gonna end for one thing I just want you to I you know I, I they woke me up like this they woke me up with something they built against me for like 20 fucking eight 20 fucking eight years with this thing here you see this is how it goes and so it goes one by one and so it goes I have absolutely no hard feelings against Kobe Bryant uh, my condolences to his wife children uh, but so it goes you understand so it goes so it goes this is how they build the case download this I don't know if I'm gonna keep this video around if they're gonna you know, they have a whole little uh, job, services, you know, in the name of the human rights and equality, you know, that fucking take you down, because it's true. Just think about, think about the stick. Think about the stick. Think about a money spinning Think about a coin, coin spinning game, a quality loss, equal opportunity as they refer to us. Remember those little things they accent in the mainstream media, like somebody did, uh, committed, uh, insulted somebody racially enough, it was uh, that one blinked with the eye or it was enough that uh, the British royal wear some kind of a, uh, bracelet or whatever and it was that kind of stuff that you know every little thing which is the right thing they signal this is okay but when you consider really what goes on it's like on a much greater scale and it's always the one behind the curtain that comes out as the righteous guy it's always the one that makes people move around like on a chessboard think about the stick democratic um no hell in not not in hell i would defend the other world that's just as i stated the side a donald trump that makes this side look good and you know it's not this side you should ever settle for Just this is as close remember, as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see just the remember, firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI just agents. Just remember, and you can see the two towers. They use a bottom a huge society. Now, raining debris on they all of us. Better get out of the way. Word. Wait, what you see here is the bottom society. Here is the bottom What you see here have happened in the 99 in Moscow. And again, a small nation, the Chechens, were guilty. In the U.S., 
They find his escape gold blast. Eventually, they broke through in the United States of America through a little individual that's basically myself from Slovenia. So remember, it's always like in our song in Slovenia, it's always the small that are guilty, the small should be happy to be even alive. What you see here again have happened in 99, in 2000, the in Trade Moscow, the Chechen guilty, people were guilty for it all. Towers, Just remember what I told you, they always use those that are the most vulnerable to overthrow the entire well, in this case, the Republic of the United States of America. They always use those the most vulnerable. In fact, through the human rights, through the human rights, they use them to literally overthrow. Two. Take two and two, one. This is as Always close as we can get to the base of the World they Trade Center. The you can see the firemen assembled here, through the police officers that are completely on the bottom you can see the two towers of the society. A huge explosion now raining debris. Make no mistake, I'm talking about those. No other than those. I'm not talking about anyone else other than those. And they've been doing this. If you want, since opium trade, they have been doing this from the beginning of the evil in this world.